Good morning and welcome back to my channel, Health and Light with me, Coach Natalie. I am here spreading love, light, knowledge to you. And today we're going to get right into this topic. I want to talk to you about autism and how we communicate with other people today. And this is something that has become near and dear to my heart. And I guess unless you're afflicted with it, you don't you don't even think about it. So in this past week, I've done some investigating and found out so much about it. And emotionally, it's been, it's been enlightening. And so when you have someone that I, you know, someone that's near and dear to you, who is diagnosed at a late stage with autism, it's, it can be overwhelming. It's overwhelming for them. It's overwhelming for you because if anyone knows anything about autism, with autism, kids, there's a large spectrum of autism from kids who have excessive behaviors to less behaviors on the spectrum and kids that are verbal, more verbal, very verbal on the spectrum and symptoms can get masked as they're older and not be and it can not be caught until they are much older like in their 30s um, late 20s to 30s and for me what's what this was it was having this experience has been very enlightening especially because i'm a coach i am i love to help people and it's helping people is all about meeting them where they are not where you are it's giving them space to be them it's giving them space to be themselves to it's giving them space to communicate and it's meeting them where they are because as a coach you have to clarify what you think you're hearing from a client when they're telling you and that's very important and so what you find out what i found out that anyway is that it's really sad that many of us don't do that for other people we always we want people to because we're raised in a society where we are told that we need to conform from the time you start school in kindergarten pre-kindergarten pre-k through your whole career in school you your whole education is about coming in being like the other learning the same information and fitting in right it's all about fitting in and we all know that people that have mental health diseases don't generally they don't fit in and sometimes it's all about your looks we try to fit in the way we look it, whether it's our weight whether it's our looks our skin our your hair those outwardly things and to, and when you have autism it's your brain that is trying to fit in with everyone because an autistic child especially a, an autistic child who is very verbal will be able to pick up cues social cues sometimes not always and when they don't pick up the social cues they are they become frustrated and it's not and it's not always apparent to everyone around that they that this frustration is be, be, is coming from their inability to communicate and pick up on the social cues because can you imagine you're in a group somebody's telling a joke and all your friends are laughing and you're sitting there and you're wondering I'm not sure what just happened maybe you're laughing because you want to fit in but you have no idea why your friends what the joke was what it was about you just didn't get it right and so but you're pretending right so you can go along and that works for one or two times because that may happen to all of us but really when it's happening you're different when this is happening to you 
all the time, right? But you just go along because, hey, you, you can play along and smile and fit in. And as a, as someone who coaches other people, it was, it just clicked that it's so important that we're not treating when I, because here's what I want to say. When I coach someone, I don't look at them as the other, right? Because if I say something to them and they don't get it, I reframe to them and I ask them, did you understand what I said? Do you have any questions? But when we are in a social environment with other people, we don't always do that when they can't fit in with us. We tend to ignore. And do you know that one in 50 people are on the autism spectrum, which means that now with the classroom sizes the way they are, that's one in 50 kids. One in one kid almost in every classroom. I know the classrooms are like 30 kids in a class, but let's say it's one child in every classroom is getting, is feeling left out because they are unable to communicate. And when you're autistic, I'm finding out, and I don't know all about it at this point, but I'm finding out that when you're autistic, you and you're verbal, right? You can talk, you can read, you can write, you're smart, right? You're intelligent because some autistic kids have very high IQs. And you, when you are on this, when autistic kids are, when kids are on the spectrum, they often are able to mask everything fit in and they are working overtime to fit in because their brain is trying to is working hard to keep up and understand what is happening in their environment they're not really relating to it but they're doing and they're mocking behaviors so that they can fit in and it's the, this is the part that's not always caught and what i was saying about when I'm in a practice with someone, I always go to the, I always ask them whether or not they understand what I said. And we don't take the time with other, with other kids, right? Like sometimes it's, they're, they just don't understand. They're not good. They can't be in this class. So they have, they separate them out. They either get separated out in school if they can't keep up and mask enough to be part of the to be part of the group and what i am learning or what I'm, I'm starting to understand more is that we need to they get treated like the other but what if i said to you that we are the other that not we because who knows right who knows for me but what if everybody was treated like the other and we just knew that we had to work a little some people everybody's different and we're gonna have to work at different levels and it's okay to be working at different different levels to communicate because just like it's hard for the child that's autistic to communicate with you it's hard for the person who's not artistic to communicate with that other person but if you can meet each other somewhere on the line then it gets then that everybody's carrying the burden the burden is not left to that um the autistic child who is unable who is well they're actually they are able they're able to figure out how to fit in but they're but they are constantly stressed doing this and eventually they reach burnout so what happens is when other people can't communicate with them or can't get across to them and don't understand where they're coming from with their behaviors their actions their words they give up and then they feel left out and meanwhile they're frustrated the autistic child is frustrated and still wants to communicate but has no idea how to do it
and is not being given any more opportunities to communicate because the other person has given up. So it would be like giving up on your, on someone that, you know, it's like your kid is smoking crack and you're like, oh, you're smoking crack. That's, you know, stay over there. And I just wanted to make a point. I wanted to come and make a point today that as we go out into the world, as you wake up, you get your day started and you're going out into this world, you just never know who you're going to run into, who you can help and who just needs to be heard and listened to a little bit closer because sometimes it's just a matter of giving them a little bit more time to articulate their thoughts and using clarifies to make sure that you understand what they're saying because it's really interesting sometimes we think we because we grow up and every everybody's supposed to be the same we are, we think we know what people need and what people are 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 asking for when they say something and there are many times like if you clarify something they will say no that's not exactly what i meant this and that is what i was thinking of and you could be like ah and have an aha moment but that takes time right and in the day this day and age of not having time for anybody we barely have time like to watch a video so i'll be lucky if you half of you who even clicked on this video stay through to watch because we are constantly we don't have time for anything anymore we don't have time for each other we don't have time for to listen to the content to really understand anything we're just everything has to be fast and can you imagine one out of 50 people cannot are unable to keep up at this pace just and that's one out of 50 people with autism how about people who have in other mental illnesses that they're dealing with that need people of the others i'm going to call you the others i don't particularly like that term but like the ones that are that don't seem to have mental health issues that they don't even think that they don't even think to slow down they can't keep up with you they can't keep up with you and some of the things are just some of these things health um ADHD, autism, get undiagnosed because we just look at them. We just, you just look at people sometimes and you go, oh, that's weird. That's, or that's just them. Or I, I don't really bother. I don't have time. I, I, I don't understand what they're saying. And so taking the time to give the person space to articulate. And today I'm talking about autism, but it might be something else. Giving someone time to express themselves, whether it's through their art or through their speech or through their um, their sight. I don't. I don't know. It's it's. This is all new to me. But what I do know is that in this day of technology, where we just scroll through next. Right now, TikTok uh, everywhere is having these things like, you know what? Now everything has to be a short video because we don't have time. We don't have the attention span to sit down and watch like a 15, 20, 30 minute, heaven forbid it's an hour long. You don't have time for it. You don't have the patience for it. And you're really missing out. You're missing out on, you're missing out on good interactions or in, even information that you can learn because connection is all about communication and communicate and connecting is about not just communication, but it's about building trust. So you cannot, how are you going to build trust in one minute with somebody? You can't take a minute to listen to somebody. You can't take a minute or two to clarify. You don't have 10 minutes to give someone to allow them to express themselves, to be what you would call different. And what's ironic is that person's probably looking at you thinking, boy, they're different, right? But because 
they are so in their head they just look at themselves as different maybe they're embarrassed that they can't they don't have they don't they know they're smart and they don't have the ability they don't have the bandwidth um to they might reach a point where they don't have the bandwidth to conform anymore and they're left standing alone if no one is with them trying to figure help them figure out what's happening and what's going on and so for me newfound information and this new diagnosis is a it's really a godsend because i think that learning about this will help me connect so much more with anybody that comes to me in my practice because who doesn't want to be heard who doesn't want the time to be able to express themselves and know that the person that they're talking to understands where they're coming from and what they need and not that the person is guessing what they need, but the person is really taking the time to understand and hear them. So when you go out today and you have your next interaction, it doesn't matter who it's with, whether or not you know the person's autistic or the person has mental health, health issues. But if when you the next time, the next person you stop and you talk to, employ your listening skills and then confirm and make sure that what you think you heard, what you think they need, is really what they need and what you heard. That's all I have for you for today. I am sending you love, light, and knowledge. Until next time, spread the wealth.